Okay, so I want to show off this timer circuit that I set up that I'm planning on using next wipe for races. Um, so you can see the circuit here, it gets in power to this electrical branch, branches out five here, pushes out the rest of the power into this one, also branches out five. Um, so branch from this first one goes into, here I can show here, goes into a switch, then the switch goes into an electrical branch again that branches out two. Uh, the one branch will go into this timer switch over here, the rest of the power will uh, go into the clear counter on here. So basically when you turn the switch on, it clears uh, the counter and, pow and turns on uh, the fuse so that you can start the timer. Um, once the power goes through the timer, it blocks the pass through. Uh, so it'll prevent more power from going through. And the rest of the power coming from here comes out of here into this, brand into this blocker. Um, so it'll block the pass through once every second. So this is set to one second. Um, after that, it'll push power through to here, turning the timer off every second. So it's going back and forth, turning the timer off, blocking, turning the timer off, blocking. And then every time it does that, it pushes out this wire into the increment counter right here. So that's what pushes the time up once per second. Uh, so I'll give an example here. So you turn it on and it clears because of this thing right here pushes through power to the clear counter, and then to turn it on, you turn the timer switch on. And then every second, the timer switch resets, gets blocked, pass through, and then the power gets pushed through to the increment counter. So because it's on this way, you can't uh, turn the timer switch off itself. You have to turn it off from here. And when you do that, it'll push through the timer to the next uh, seconds so you'll notice that if I press it right there it'll still push it up to 30 seconds so that's one thing to keep in mind is that it'll be it'll round up rather than round down it'll always round up um, but it's pretty cool because yeah it's a fully working timer um, you can use it for uh, races and stuff like that it's obviously not down to the millisecond but it's uh, you could do minutes if you wanted to. Uh, as it stands, it goes up to 100, but uh, I could work out another circuit that kind of every time it hits 100, pushes through one to the next one, and then does a minute counter that way. Or every time it hits 60, sorry. But anyway, this is the uh, this is the circuit here. I'll try and back up so you can see what it looks like. Um, the best way to look at here. Yeah, this is probably the best way actually. Um, so you can see it there. So the power's coming in from the bottom, and then that's the circuit right there. So that's the timer circuit.